let's see. Then came the opportunity last September to talk with some leaders of the con economic and these negotiation sessions, certain promises. Let's see the next question. What is the difference between a just law and an unjust law? Then came the opportunity last September to talk with some leaders of the economic community and in a negotiation session certain promises were made by the made by the merchants such as uh, the promise to remove the humiliating racial signs from the stores. Of course you need to remove the signs. You don't do that. Dummies. More than dummies. On the basis of these pr promises Reverend Shuttlesworth and the leaders of the Alabama Christian Movement for Human Rights agreed to call a moratorium on any type of demonstrations. I think that's why I like the black culture so much and why I like hip hop so much. Because they tell that the basis of hip hop is like you tell the truth. Like even if like you grew up, you came from quote unquote, even if the hip hop people don't tell the truth, it's all a big hoax. My I don't know. My reality with hip hop is that my belief upon it is they tell the truth. Like they grew up eating Cheerios or whatever, and they talk about stuff like stuff like that and talk about how their life is now. And they had to go through so much struggle in America because of the white man. That's why there's by their spirit, why women, black women are so, that's probably why I sound like a black woman sometimes. Because I admire, they say, I learned it because I want to be like them, because they're strong women. The black woman is very strong. And I admire that about them. And I admire hip hop and their family. They stayed together because it, they couldn't have moved, made things change unless they got together and said this is how things are going to change and it's wrong that you're treating us like this. And that's why hip hop can change people so much and why there's so, the, the, meaning behind, the meaning and the struggle and the perseverance and the resilience of hip hop and the black soul soul music that they have, they got soul because people made them suffer and they turned into beautiful souls. And I think that's cool that they, that they, it's not cool that the white man did that, but it's cool that they got together and never gave up. And I admire, I admire that. And I know hip hop has. They talked about how they don't want to do um, politics and music anymore. I don't know how what they did with the politics, or like maybe they were campaigning people trying to. Maybe that's what they tried to get President Obama in the pre house. You know what I think? What well, like I think President Obama made us go into all this debt because President Obama has different plans. He's trying to make the government make us not have the government anymore. That could be a cool thought. Just a thought to throw out there. I have no idea what they're doing, but but I know hip hop has music has something to do with that, not do with politics, or like the politicians were in charge of the um, music people and they could campaign and like they said, vote for Obama or vote for this person or we don't like this person or we don't you know they can't give the other people a voice and they get to a different variety of people and they talk about the airplane songs and said we want to go back to making wishes and making dreams come true for people they want that I could pretend that airplane the night sky like shooting stars because I could really use a wish right now and he said that he wants to go back in time he'll be back in time when it wasn't about the fame or the money or the power or the politics he wants the dreamers to go back to love That's what I got from it. Do you really use a wish? All I want, and then my ex said something about the song 
all I want to do is boom, 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 and and take your money. All I want to, they're talking about how the government is in war. All I want to shoot, I want to just shoot and take your money. Shoot you and take your money. All I want to do is boom, boom, my, my ex has showed me so much about music. He's the one who told me that I caught a fallen star. Then he, then after that, the last thing I heard from him was he said I caught a fallen star, and he was mad at me because I told him that he can never be with me. Cause it's true. And then I realized like I was in a really good mood the other day and I was talking to him. And he's just a dubby downer. That's all he does with me. He only brings me down. He doesn't lift me up. And I don't need to talk to him anymore. And all I did... I needed my heart to be fixed. So I fixed my heart. Because he broke mine. And don't fuck with me or I'll fuck with your mentality. And fuck your shit up and make you become a good person. Asshole. And I no longer have feelings towards him. Like, I care about him and I hope he, I wish him the best and I told him that I hope he finds a good lady to be with. Because it's not going to happen with me. And I like talking to him about ideas, but not anymore because he's just a Debbie Downer who doesn't do anything in life. He doesn't. He's very good at, um, a lot of, he's good at a lot of things. He's a very good person with, um, charmer. He's a very good charmer and he's a very good company and he, he can fix things and he can help people be on track on, of things, even if he's not on track on things with his life. And he's good with children. He's really good with children. He loves them. He's very, he's like an adult child, that's why. There's very, a lot of good things about him, is what I'm saying. And he showed me so much in this life. And I hope, I wish him the best. And he made me very strong, even though he hurt me really bad. He showed me a lot with music too. To look at it, like really just listen to what they're saying. They're actually saying what they're saying. Like if that guy is talking about, like, whose booty is it? He's literally talking about, he, he's been with so many women that he doesn't know who's, who he's been with, kind of deal. They're not trying to be cute, they're just telling the truth that they're douchebags in some certain in some circumstances even though I want to believe that they're saying something else and having a code within that song but some songs are just what they are 